I'm Sinead Gretzim Genius, and today we will be going over the first five things you should build in your Minecraft world. This will apply to servers and solo worlds, and will allow you to get the essential items so you can have an excellent foundation, so you can do whatever you want in your world. Number one is a star camp. I recommend making a camp something like this. You um, light up the entire area so mobs don't spawn, you'd have to do more than what I did here. And then you place down some chests, um, a crafting table, and some furnaces. I prefer this to a full on starter base, since building and gathering materials is much slower early game, so I'd rather focus on getting good gear and farms first. I have a more de detailed video on this if you're interested, the link will be in the description for that. And in the star camp, you will need um, a potato or carrot farm, more or rather. This will become important for the second step. And you'll also need a sugarcane farm. You'll also need a reliable food source because the potatoes and carrots will be needed for the second step. Number two is a village breeder, which will be using the carrots or potatoes that you um, made the farm for in the first step. I have a video on the best way to move around villagers, which I recommend you use. The link, will that, the link to that will be in the description. I also recommend you use this villager breeder. The link to um, the tutorial for this will be also in the description. And on a side note, I didn't actually design any of the farms that are being used in this video. And the reason for that is that I use them and they work perfectly so why fix what isn't broken. But this villager breeder is extraordinarily important for steps 3 and 4. Number 3 is an iron farm. And I know this is a high step, like a big step from the previous step. But it's important for step 4 and 5. You can make a 4 modular design like the one you see in front of you. Which I recommend you do. Or you can make a one modular design. The reason I recommend you make the four modular design will be discussed in the next step. Number four is a villager training hall. I recommend you use the design I use in my villager handling video, and you will need a few types of villagers for this step. So first, you'll use a grindstone or um, a smithing table to get a tool or weapon smith, and unlock their second tier trade to trade iron from your iron farm. There is another purpose for the iron farm, which will be in the next step. It's not just for trading. Um, then you have to get a fletching table using, or sorry, a fletcher using a fletching table. You could use sticks to get emeralds if you'd like, but the main point is to get to the tier 2 trade to get the bow trade, which will be used for step 5. You could, of course, expand your hall later on to get other things you need, such as enchanted books. And finally, number 5, which is a mob farm. Now, a lot of people think mob farms are useless, except for the obvious gunpowder for rockets and TNT, but this couldn't be further from the truth. String can be used to make wool or be traded with a Fletcher. Um, rotten flesh can be also traded with a Cleric, which can be attained with, from the brewing stand. Bones are excellent for making um, bone meal based farms, such as tree farms or automated wheat farms. Um, arrows can be especially useful early game as you don't have an affinity bow. And even late game, having a surplus of them is useful because it gives you the choice between having affinity or mending on your bow. So if you don't want to, if you want to have mending, you can afford to do it because you have a lot of arrows. You can also get a small amount of redstone, glowstone, and glass bottles, which are pretty nice to have. If you build all five of these things, you'll be able to get rockets as soon as you acquire Elytra, and have an excellent training hall, so you can get anything you need. I hope you found this helpful and decide to utilize the information I provided, but for now I've been the Generic Wrestling Genius, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.